Everybody, it's Victor. It's time for a regular random run day here in the Binding of Isaac Victor Repentance series. Happy Sunday, Mosh Pit, and also happy October 1st. Can you believe we're already in the 10th month of 2023? Wow. Uh, is, it, is it fall where you're at yet? Because it doesn't feel like it here. I mean, it's gotten, I guess, a little bit, like, cooler. But, like, whenever you're going outside and, like, ah, it's nice at 95 outside degrees instead of 115. It doesn't really feel a whole lot different. But... Hope your Sundays are going off to a great start. We're still waiting for another video to cross 3,000 likes. We have a couple videos that are very, very close. And again, I'm keeping an eye on them. And once they do cross that threshold, I will be updating the likes tree counter down below as we make our way towards the final push for the uh, Rebirth Reaction video stream and also video, which I'm going to be posting here on YouTube and streaming on YouTube. Here's your meme of the day brought to you by Ozone EDF. Title thread was How the Mighty Have Fallen. And yep. Yep, look, Fortune Cookie, you know, Fortune Cookie made its decision. Like, I gave it plenty of time and opportunity, and they just chose to go a different path. And you know what? If you know that something's not going to work out, then you're just wasting both of y'all's time if it's if it's, if it's it's going to be just a waste of, of time, if it's not going anywhere. So thank you very much to Ozone EDF. Let's see who we have today. Regular random run day. We haven't done a regular random in a while, so I figured now was a good time. And okay. Ugh. Seat day is going to be Papa 6, Golf 1, Seth. Well, we got Jacob and Hee Haw. Um, yeah. So let's talk about Jacob and Hee Haw real quick. They're definitely, I think, not my favorite character. I think people would agree with that. Um, they do have a couple of neat little tricks that they can do. But for the most part, the problem with Jacob and Esau is the fact that, like, well, oh, first off, I got our donation machine. Yep. So it definitely blew up and uh, reset to zero, so that's fun. Uh, secondly, they do have a couple of neat little tricks, but the problem with them is the fact that they do share the same item pool. You know, it's not like Tainted Lazarus, for example, where you're able to just produce more item pedestals and stuff, or, you know, you're able to take multiple item pedestals. It's literally just, like, it takes every item that you get and divides it by, like, two essentially because like like think about the total number of items that you're going to get on a run right let's say call it 20 or so like 20 takeable items is usually what we average or so and jacob and esau you have to split them between the two and uh, you know kind of divert you, you kind of have to diversify a build but you also have to kind of divide things up in a way to say okay who is better at doing what um, you know, Esau does slightly more damage than Jacob, but has much lower HP and also has to worry about his uh, his fire rate, which we've already sort of solved with our, uh, you know, with our taking of um, Skinny on a Mushroom. But at the same time, it's kind of like, oh, we need to get some stuff for Jacob as well. So generally speaking, the, the sort of the... We can take Gippy. Sort of the... The staple of Jacob and Yeehaw is being able to theoretically divvy out items that make them both powerful. Um, yeah, and that's just going to happen. Okay, yeah, sure. Um, yeah, so the be the best thing to do is to make is to make one 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 of them super powerful, the other one just kind of like a, like strong enough just to survive, essentially. Um, but it's not, it, that's always simpler said than done. So what I will say is that they are also very, it's challenging to play because obviously your hitbox is also multiplied by two. Um, uh, you can control one, one, you can control them independent of each other, but it's it's pretty tricky to do so. Um, if you're on mouse and keyboard, or if you're just on keyboard, you have to hold down the control, and then Esau will stay uh, stay stationary, but Jacob will still move. Um, there's no way to move Esau by himself, uh, which is a little bit strange. But uh, again, this game th this game was not built for this character. Um, the fact that like it even operates like this without just just freaking out is is beyond me. Um, so yeah. But with this start, at least Skinny on Mushroom is is giving us the necessary fire rate because that is one thing that Hee Haw lags behind is on is the is the DPS, um, you know. So get it, getting getting a, a big fire rate upgrade is is quite nice. Um, obviously, they're going to share the same movement speed because they move in tandem with each other. There goes our Devil Deal. 
And uh, you usually don't take Devil Deals anyway on Jacob and Esau. Um, nine times out of ten, you're going to go Angel Deals because, A, it's safer, and, B, you don't have to worry. You can actually take double uh, item pedestals with them, which is kind of nice. And also getting Boss Rush is kind of important um, because they can take multiple items as long as they're moving simultaneously with one another. Um, they will be able to to pick them up to pick up two item pedestals at the same time. Come on. And you see what happens whenever they get separated. So suffice to say, Jacob and Esau, not my favorite characters. They're uh, they're quite they're quite annoying to play. Um, they're one of those sort of vestiges that came out whenever uh, Repentance straight up just, you know, copied Anti-Birth. And uh, they were featured there prominently because everyone was like, oh, wow, a split character. But then realized that, oh, ooh, this, is, this, is, this, is, this is a little rough, a little rough. Uh, let's give that to Hee Haw. So even if we get a Devil Deal here, I'm not going to take one just because it's, it's not wise with, with them. Again, the nice thing about having an angel deal is that you can take multiple item pedestals at once. Um, it's a little bit tricky to set up, but if you can pull it off, it does pay out very well. Um, that's assuming that you get like a banger of an angel deal. And yes, if one of them dies, then they both die. You can't you can't lose one without the other. So as much as I would love to just be able to off one of them and just go back to being a regular Isaac run, uh, it's not how it works. And you're going to have to forgive me because I don't remember how to how to destroy or how to use a how to use he haws active um i think it's the it control q yeah there we go it's control q okay so we still don't have a way of getting into the item room so that's that's, that's definitely something and we can't get into the shop all right You basically want to line up Jacob and Esau together as much as you can uh, to A, avoid taking damage, and B, to really get like a true volley of, of tears going. But keeping them together, like just so you can all move at once, is kind of the biggest reason to keep them together. Um, because as soon as one of them gets separated from, from each other, it's game over. The very tricky scenario here with Gemini kind of freaking out everywhere. Wow, we did get a devil deal. I can't believe that. Um, yes. Get the tears up here so Jacob gets the mash hee haw. I guess I will go check the devil deal. Okay, duality might actually not be terrible. Let's give that. Let's 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 take that on Jacob. Um, and that way we can at least we can at least get an angel deal and not have to worry about the devil deal. So. Devil deal precedent, that is. Oh, man, I really should have used that Hoggle's rune here. <laughs> now that I see this, yeah. Come on, Gimpy. So that's really bad that we are going to leave behind a an item room. Uh, no, Esau. Let's try that again, shall we? That's really, really bad that we're going to leave behind an item room and a store on Jacob and Ehaw. That's... That's uh, that's, that's no bueno. So we go over to last week's question of the episode from the Blurst Genesis episode, and that one was, of course, they tainted Apollyon, tainted Apollyon. Uh, episode, and I simply asked, what would you do to make Tainted Apollyon more interesting, more dynamic? And there were a lot of similar answers on this one, um, but I did like a couple of them uh, in particular. So there's a lot of input. And again, thank you to the Mosh Pit uh, for taking part in the daily question of the episode. And uh, what's even what's even cooler about this is that we've been getting even more turnover on... It's not just the same people. Like, we are getting some early risers, of course, and obviously, like, the faster you get your comment in, like, probably the higher the chances it's going to be read by more people and upvoted, but that's not always the case. 
So first off, again, thank you everyone who's been supporting the channel that way. It's been doing a very good job at driving engagement and growing the channel. Secondly, uh, the most upvoted comment came in from icyavum4948, who said, personally, I find Tainted Apollyon just to be a much worse version of Apollyon. Maybe if Abyss gave the Locust special properties based on the items consumed, shop items gives the Midas touch flies, devil items either bleed or extreme damage, and so on and so forth. Maybe allow him to en enter a separate dimension with random... Uh, sorry, I need, to, I need to move up the comment. Uh, random Delirium portals act like blue key trinket rooms. And I definitely... It, it, that's, an elegant situ that's an elegant solution to like a bigger issue that like uh, we've talked about with Tainted Napoleon, particularly speaking with Abyss as well. In, you know, it, it's unrealistic to say, to think that like the devs would be able to program, you know, 860 or 980, however many items there are, different types of locusts or flies into the game based on what you Abyss, right? I think that, that I, I don't think anyone is expecting that. That's That's unrealistic. It's unheard of. But I do like the idea of there being a certain a certain category of flies. So, for example, like I see Aven was talking about, if you happen to if you happen to abyss a an item that's a shop item, right? Um, that that could be one thing. Um, if you happen to abyss a devil deal item, they could maybe make a a demonic locust come out that causes extreme damage or bleeding. Uh, you know that, and I, I get like I'm down with that idea. Like that, that's a cool idea. As we lose our bone heart. By the way, shout out Gimpy for uh, so far not doing anything. We we appreciate you wholeheartedly. Linger Bean is linger bad. Um, I guess we'll give it to Yeehaw. We might as well go into the curse room now that we've lost our bone heart. Uh, I'm gonna use Jacob to do it. Then. Did he, did he haw get it or? Oh, okay. A D Bizzle and contract from below. Both of these are definitely takeable. I think we just take one and one. We don't have to take these simultaneously, obviously, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter which one has which. Use a hermit card to get out of there. As you can see, we have absolutely zero money in our. Have zero money in our uh, in our donation machine, which is just sad, sad, sad. Why that's a feature? Who knows? Um. But yeah, I like that idea for Tainted Napoleon. So thank you very much to Icy Avum. And then the next best, the next most upvoted comment came in from uh, Mr. Bush Wookie, who said, "I have a couple things I would do. First and foremost, I would give one Abyssal Fly uh, per quality item of tier you." Per item quality tier that you abyss. Uh, secondly, just for just for a tainted Napoleon, um, abyss would also have the void effect that would give you stats for items. And I I think that the first one is cool. I think the first one definitely warrants consideration. The second recommendation I don't know about because even though they even though uh, they just they said you know it would be just simply for tainted Napoleon, I don't think that homogenizing the void effect with the abyss effect is the, is the right idea because then like there's really there's there's very little need for void at that point in the game but e e again even though i know they just said that they were just talking about using it primarily only for for being that like a napoleon uh a napoleon feature uh but yeah that would be cool depending on the quality tier item would produce di a different amount of um of uh, abyssal flies that would be that'd be very neat Fortune telling machine, uh, or wheel of fortune card, which gave us a fortune telling machine. Uh, but I didn't plan that, I swear. Uh, I mean, we could bomb it, maybe. I don't think that we're gonna get anything for it. Who has more luck? Jacob has more luck. Not that it really matters. Yeah, that's, that's all I need. Yes, they both do. Uh, they both do uh, spend a bomb. Rough out of here, Sarge. Fortunately, we are not getting good items here from our bosses. And again, you're seeing the downside of, of losing an item room totally. Be bizzle, we need you like something fierce. 
Okay, so let's give that to Jacob just so we have a little bit of buffer here. And last but not least, really quickly, the third most upvoted comment came in from Draven Smith 9692 who said, honestly, just more interactions with his flies in Abyss. I think Ipecac and other and a few other items have unique flies when they get eaten by Abyss. Uh, so more of that would make him much more fun, and I agree. You know, it, it's again, it comes down to, I think, just making overall the, the change to Abyss for like a, a Tainted Napoleon rework would be would be the main focus of what I would do. Um, I would probably do something similar to what Izzy Avon was saying, which is just simply take Abyss, take Abyss, and depending on the type of item that it is, then give it to, then give the flies that property. Get clown physics in here. And yeah, we are hurting for damn, we are hurting for everything right now. We need HP, we need, we need lots of things here. Again, it's rough out here, Sarge. It's always gonna, Always going to be rough on Jacob and Hee-Haw. I'm happy that we at least got them uh, two major tiers upgrades, but we need more than that. And Bomber Boy is a little bit dangerous to take because they have the high potential to hit each other. Although this will supercharge the amount of damage that our uh, Anarchist Cookbook's going to be able to do, it almost guarantees that we're going to suffer self-inflicted damage here. But it also turns... It, it also turns Anarchist Cookbook into a boss killer. A double Emperor card. And no Soul Hearts. All right. Oh, this should be fun. There's our devil deal. Gotta love those fissures. And we get meat. Get meat. This is uh this is not great. We're not we're not looking not looking too solid here. We're gonna give this to Jacob because he only has one HP. We don't care about the temperance machine. Okay, so we have double emperor card. Um I mean, we we could play the temperance machine to try to trigger Gimpy, but that's uh, that's kind of that's kind of a stretch there. Really needed a womb room, like super bad. All right, let's maybe get an angel deal on the floor five. Could just send it with the Emperor card to try to maximize our chance to get an Angel Deal. But I would rather have at least the Anarchist Cookbook. My god, dude. Esau, Esau just shuffling up here and then just get getting pushed out onto the creep is... That is, that is classic. A little late for that there, e bizzle. Alright. Might as well. Oh, double mega fatty. This should be this should be just super. Super duper duper. Alright. And we hit nothing.
I have no idea how badly I want to lay a bomb, but we just can't. We get another HP upgrade. All right. All right. Super duper duper. A super mega duper. Here we go. Jacob and Yeehaw. Hand in hand. Brothers in arms. Side by side. Most of the time. I'll leave that uh, soul heart there just to give us a, a real sporting chance to maybe get a devil deal on the next floor or an angel deal. At this point, at this point, I'm not even sure if, if we get a devil deal that I would even take it because A, we don't have enough HP for it and B, uh, it's probably not wise at this point. We do need damage, but it's very clear that the game is, is very content with just giving us the bare minimum to uh, to string us along here for now. <laughs> Alright, let's go find that item room, shall we? Okay, yep, yeah, sure. All this is all this is standard Jacob and Esau. You throw a couple of rocks near him, and uh, boy howdy, look out! Well, we're forced to go get that soul heart now because uh, I mean, Esau is almost dead. Game is not producing any red hearts for us that are doing us any favors anyway. Pretty much the uh, the only character that we could have random that would have would have just would have just made the Sunday like a sad Sunday. <laughs> like Jacob, I don't think I don't think anyone's happy when they random Jacob and Esau. I think that like if you love Jacob and Esau, you're probably playing them. You're probably not randoming them. I'm just gonna send it here. I mean, we're, we're gonna we're gonna take damage no matter what it doesn't matter uh it's gonna be damage up for either Jacob really needs it even though Esau has more tears but Jacob needs damage trying to balance out their stats is the uh, toughest part right now like we will be lucky if we make it out of depths. And I again I go back to missing that missing that item room on floor two. Especially considering that it's possible that the Hagala's room could have gotten us in there. Hard to set. I give that to Esau just because he has more of a fire rate and more of a proc rate, and then we get super or regular greed. Alright. But I got that uh got thought I got that to Esau. Look, we I mean we know what we're getting into whenever we use the anarchist cookbook, but uh cannot go into the curse room. I think maybe the secret room is there. Okay, this gives us a full heal, and there's a uh there is a tinted, tinted rock right here. <laughs> uh, all right. Visual spirit. I mean, we're probably going to give that to Esau, to be honest. He's going to take more damage than Jacob is. So a bomb here. Maybe we can get some money to start repopulating our our uh donation machine we can finally go into this mob trap room 
heart and d bizzle paid out with a pill i'm not even going to take because we're playing hey we're playing jacob and hee-haw and uh you don't want to tempt fates you don't want to tempt pills or tempt fates with uh, jacob and hee-haw just be lucky if you can get through a run with jacob and esau it would be one thing if they played like separately as in, like you could you could get rid of one of them and play as the other, or f even even with flip, like with Lazarus, but it just doesn't work like that. I'm gonna park Esau here, and then we're gonna move Jacob there. Drop a bomb. As one of the very few advantages there is being able to use two bombs for one. Um, we need to make a we need to make a big time gain here. Big time gain. Otherwise, we are in lots of trouble. Just forget devil deals. They don't even exist anymore. Like just just throw them out of your out of your collective your collective uh, conscious. Now we could play the three skull Montes for hearts and maybe get some soul hearts, but. Like I said, at this point, just I'm not. I don't even care if we take red heart damage because it's just it's just not going to be, it's not going to be possible for us to take devil deals safely on this run. <laughs> we can somehow get soul heart on Jacob that would be great give me hope for the future e bizzle we brought you on this team for a very specific reason we need you to give us soul heart son and this ain't this ain't a this ain't a want this is a this is a a very urgent need Turrets are pretty much your worst enemy when it comes to playing this character, or these characters. Because again, separating them at all is going to just, this is going to ruin your day. Okay, D Bizzle, I'm not gonna lie, you're, you're, you're really harming the team here, son. I mean, Metronome might, might give us something we we cannot continue to use oh, okay we cannot continue to use anarchist cookbook that's just it's a stupid idea at this point as much damage as it was doing it's just not it's not possible for us to to get to have a prayer to get a, a devil deal with it Whoever's card is going to be pretty big. Okay, that is that is one that is one soul heart we did get. D Bizzle. Okay, I'm going to give this to Hee Haw because he's, he's low. We got Shielded Tears. Linger Bean, I mean, Linger Bean's doing some work. But Linger Bean's is making them, them clouds. E Bizzle is, uh, yep. Yeah, Esau, you're kind of getting a little squirrely there. We need you to, we need you to rein it in, son. Uh, what the the hope and dream of us having metronome is for us to get just a bunch and i mean an absolute butt ton of hp like getting like raw liver getting breakfast getting anything <laughs> uh, these stores dude all right well at least we can maybe put some some money back into our donation machine
Okay, so we have 15 cents left over to play three skull Monty, maybe get some hearts. Maybe, just maybe get, um, Hey, that gave us some bombs. Maybe get a, a couple of item pedestals that we can re-roll. But that's some wishful thinking right there. Yeah, just like getting out of this room without, without taking any damage. Come on, e All right, son, you're, you're going to need to have that little talk. That would have paid out with two immediate Skatoles. I would have lost my mind. See, we need we need hearts and item pedestals here. No, no, you don't understand. Okay, now Joe, free card. Again, I, I appreciate the keys, Three Skull Monty, but we really just need hearts. Really just need hearts. Unless we find an errant key beggar or something. All right. Unfortunately, Baby Bender does not work with Jacob and Esau like it does with followers, but we are, um, we are, we're feeling it, Mr. Krabs. I think our only hope is that Metronome just goes off and gives Jacob a bunch of different HP upgrades. And then we just use Jacob to tank everything. We got Luna, which would have been nice for us previously because we could have at least gotten a soul heart or two. Although Luna, only, it would only last for one room anyway, so never mind. We can take both the negative and the Polaroid if we time this right. Should be possible. Uh, definitely want to get some damage on Hee Haw. Okay, and we're going to go in the Angel Statue, or Angel Room, and we get... <sighs> Salvation. I mean, Salvation is fine, but, man, it is... Maybe it, maybe it will be our, our own salvation. First, the unknown. Pretty bad. The salvation will deal a revelation-esque type beam of damage. Uh... For everything that is caught within that crown of thorns or that halo of thorns that you see around Jacob. And every time we take damage, it's going to increase in size. So that's nice because obviously, you know, the more damage you take, the the bigger the area is that you get to cover with salvation. But the bad side is that if you don't have a lot of HP to give, well, then it gets kind of kind of messy. Uh, we need that on Jacob. There's never been more of a need for an HP upgrade, Judgment. And we do not have enough money. So, there's no plan right now to use Salvation as our main source of DPS. Oh, wow. Thank you, Flush. Random Flush here from, uh... From, uh, Metronome. We did get a double pill drop, but I'm... Yep. 
And Jacob got piercing shots with Sagittarius. Which does give us a temporary movement speed boost, so... And piercing shots is quite nice. We just need to get the boys lined up here. Give that to Hee Haw. Our, I, our main saving grace, if we end up winning this run, is going to be this Emperor card. But we got to get to Blue Baby first, and the, it's always going to be, it's always going to be Isaac that is going to be the problem. We'll go see if we can get one tap magic here on Judgment. Isaac is always going to be the main concern of these struggle bus runs, and most, most he, taint, most. Well, yeah, most tainted he haw, but always, always tainted he haw. But most uh, regular Jacob and Esau runs are going to be uh, struggle bus in general. There you see the effect of salvation. The dream catcher, which does not do anything for us. I gotta say, Child's Heart's doing doing work with D Bizzle. Glad that we ended up holding on to that because that's been fueling the fire. D Bizzle has not been doing. Horrible, but he's also not been doing great. Let's let's be honest. Let's not give him too much credit now. He's not he's not performing up to snuff. Glitter bombs. Now glitter bombs is interesting because that gives us five extra bombs here thanks to metronome. Um, we could try to farm. We'll be able to drop 40 bombs and maybe get some eternal hearts, maybe get some red hearts, some soul hearts. <laughs> or a golden troll bomb that's going to be uh, very dangerous for us to operate with, so we'll just go ahead and ignore that. You can't say we're not putting in the work here. We're 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 doing things. We are we are full blown maximum effort right now. Hey judgment, I'm gonna need you to step it up, son. See the see that's the problem. Uh we would get we would either get rid of skinny on mushroom or gimpy and hmm. That is a that is a tough pill to swallow. There, get rid of Gimpy, which we did pay we did pay HP for, but at the same time, could potentially get some good Angel Deal items here. One, or we could get we don't have to use it right now. So let's 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 bank the reverse stars card for now. Just wait. We don't have to use it immediately. We don't have to use it in the secret room. We don't have to do anything right now. There we go. Salvation getting a little, little chippy there, and that's fine. Okay, we have metronome for the boss. Gonna be blast assist. Shouldn't be too bad. And we got Brittle Bones. That's... Uh-oh. <laughs> I don't know if Brittle Bones affects Jacob's HP or... I don't know how that works. If it's given to us by Metronome, so... I think Jacob got the... got the... Soul Heart. Baby. All right, Marrow. Sun card. I mean, Gimpy's not doing anything for us right now. We need to find the secret room. Gimpy has not paid out at all. At all. Um, so it behooves us to find the secret room and I think we're just gonna we're just gonna rip it because that sun card's pretty dang important 
for if not for the cathedral then definitely for uh for womb two the real question is where the heck is the regular secret room ain't there i don't know if we tried here i think we did can't be there if i recall correctly because of this room here yeah it cannot be there maybe to the south of that still be south of there Like in these double bomb drops. Oh, there. Get latch keys. That is going to give us keys and soul heart. Um, I still don't know if Brittle Bones gave us gave us bone hearts on Jacob at this point. is one of the wackiest freaking maps dude to try to find a secret room I have no idea how much HP e Hall was down to oh that's fun so that's neat thank you thank you uh, metronome Only a matter of time. I don't know if we've tried here, but it it has to be somewhere up north then. We have tried every possible spot. Here, I guess. Okay. Now since Jacob has Damocles activated, this is gonna produce a couple of extra item pedestals here. There goes, there goes Damocles. So we're going to just rip Gimpy and we get Esau Jr. Now, is that going to take Damocles and Esau away? I'm going to drop the Emperor card in case if it removes Esau. It does not. A little Brimmy. It did get rid of Damocles, though. <sighs> okay. I mean, I have no idea. I have absolutely no clue what Esau Jr.'s uh, HP is at. I'm gonna give this to him because I just, I straight up just do not know. So, okay, this, this has got very, very strange. So we have two Esau's now. Uh, Esau and Esau. But I need to know... First off, where's... Oh, that sun card's in the, uh... Boss room, isn't it? Yes. Okay. I need to know... How much HP Esau Jr. has. I think he's only gonna have the three soul hearts and the one red heart we just gave him. I believe which in that case means that we don't have that much of an advantage over Jacob who I still don't know the HP of first the maze yeah so we only have that that one HP there We have a Thame on Esau Jr. But this is going to get really awkward now because we don't know... 
Okay, so so Jacob has a lot more HP than Esau Jr., but he's got Damocles active, and that's not not what we want. But I think for now, what we do is we go with we go with Esau Jr. Um, yeah, we go with Esau Jr. <coughs> Until it just becomes, like, absolutely necessary to change to Jacob. No, we, we cannot. Simply cannot. heart I'm gonna give to Esau it's weird because now Esau has sort of become he's sort of become the main the main character now we need to we need to get a red heart to fill this to fill this bone heart for hee-haw Pretty clutch soul heart there from a keeper's shop. A dinging sound you're hearing is coming from the Eye of Greed, by the way. Shoot out Midas Touch Tears. Free stuff, but we get money for it if we kill them while they're frozen. So it's a nice little... It's a nice... It's a... It's a weird tier effect, but it can it can go off. Uh, I'm not sure what hit Esau there. Remy, we need you. There we go. Okay. Well, Lazarus gives us a gives us an extra life, but the thing is, is that we don't we don't necessarily that doesn't help us that much. Um, because the extra life, if we gave that, it would it would have to coincide with us dying on the character that is holding the soul of Lazarus. So in other words, we would have to, even if we used it on like on Esau Jr. for example, it would still give us, it would still give us the uh, the Esau, the other Esau, because we're still playing as we started this run as Jacob and, and Esau, so we would we wouldn't be able to get rid of him. Oh, Thane, we love you. Giving us hope when there was none. Okay, so we have a sun card for the cathedral and then an emperor card for Blue Baby. Nice freeze by I have greed there. You get a little separated. We gotta gotta rain him back in. There's no way we take a devil deal here. It, we just ignore it. We simply ignore it. Because we don't even want a Krampus fight here. There's no way that we can take a, a, a devil deal here. Okay. Sun card immediately see that we went the worst possible way to go with the probably the worst possible boss that we could not want to fight. We need a Thane to do some work here. And honestly, Keeper's Box, if we maintain our money, might still give us a chance to get some more 
Soul Hearts, because obviously we don't have D Bizzle right now because it's on it's on Jacob. Nice freeze there, but I agreed. It's tempting to get D Bizzled back in here. But we would have to we would have to clear room with him. It's tempting to try to get Dark Bum to get that, but We cannot risk Damocles falling at this point. Nice shot by by a uh, little Brimmy. Again, I agreed really, really helping us out here. Full of Isaac. It gives us something to re-roll uh, the chests with. Okay, that's it's funny game, but like, yeah. cannot be firing incessantly here, just because we need to we need to save this money. As dumb as that may seem. You've been seeing how much work I have Greed's been doing, but the real challenge is about to is about to occur here. Hey, spider, are you kidding me, dude? Heavily relying on on a fame here. Okay, we need to get that on Esau Jr. And I apologize for the radio silence, but hopefully you all understand the um, problem here. It's uh it's not good. Really not good, Sarge. Trying to make it work, but it's it's difficult. It's fine if he's if Esau takes damage. We don't care about that cuz we can we can refill the red heart. What we cannot refill is a soul heart right now. Again, it, it really is is quite tempting for us to to get D Bizzle out, but we just cannot risk. We cannot risk um, Damocles because it's already been triggered. So we just got to beast mode this, and this is the fight that this is the fight that pretty much is going to determine if we win or lose this run. Good shot there by little Brimmy, taking out the angel fetuses. We really, really, really needed a Thame to come through there. Jacob or uh, Esau took a hit. That's fine if Esau takes a hit. We don't want Esau Jr. to take a hit. Did it with minimal, minimal problems, and we get a Yara rune, um, which is more valuable than the Soul of Isaac. No, 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 no. Thank you, Emperor Yara. Double checking to make sure we don't leave the Emperor behind, because that is going to be the key. 
Oh boy, hold on to your butts, Mosh Pit. It's almost over. And Curse of the Blind. That's the last thing that the game could have done. But gotta just we gotta do it anyway, so here we go. No idea what we're getting, but you know, that's just the that's the game for you. Cannot believe that they gave us Curse of the Blind, but I, at the same time I I can. This would be Super Fan Contagion B12 for Maggie Technology Zodiac Cricket's Body Epiphore and Blood Puppy. I don't think we even risk using Esau Jr. at this point. I think we can win with this. Adrian and Thame going ham. Nice freeze by the eye of greed. So we are going to get the dub here in a very insanely, insanely difficult run, but we made it through. Thank you for watching, everyone. Your question of the episode is, what is your take on Jacob and Esau? I mean, look, you knew it was coming. Do you love him? Do you hate him? What are your strategies on him? Post them in the comments down below. The top three most upvoted comments will be read on next week's episode. And thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing. Let's get this video to 3,000 likes. You can't say that we didn't deserve it today, Mosh Pit. And as always, I will see you all next time. Until then, so long, everybody. Thanks for watching this video. I'd like to thank the patrons of mine like James Moeller, Barman1988, and Derplop. If you'd like to have your name read at the end of the Isaac episode, check out my Patreon campaign, which you can find over at patreon.com slash Invicta.